Kilo Bravo Niner Romeo Lima Whiskey. Kilo Bravo Niner Romeo Whiskey. It's Kilo Bravo Niner Romeo Lima Whiskey. Romeo Lima Whiskey. Over. Okay, Romeo Lima Whiskey. You're five and five. Will County. Over. Roger that. You are five and eight. Five and eight in Southwest Arizona. Southwest Arizona. QRP. Over. Thank you, Arizona. QRZ. M2BJ. Will County. Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Okay, uh, the last true STX video for a little while. I know I've done quite a few, but I've been exploring this little radio, you know, and uh, it's pretty neat. Um, as you saw in the opening uh, clip there, I made a single sideband contact on it, and if you uh, were, really notice, uh, were really paying attention, you noticed there was nothing plugged into the microphone jack. That's because this little radio has a built-in microphone and a push-to-talk button. So, uh, yeah, I've had small radios in the past. I've had a QCX and I've had a, uh, a H1B1, I think was the model number. Um, I bought it from Tentec, but uh, it's U-Kits that made it. And I like the little CW radios, and this is a great little CW radio. I've made a bunch of CW contacts with it so far. Um, works fine. But it also does single sideband, upper and lower. Um, additionally, it does AM and FM. And I said at the beginning of this series that I was going to be answering some questions I had about this radio that other people haven't done yet in their videos. I have seen one video that uh, showed the transmit quality of the single sideband mode, uh, at least audio-wise. You, you, he played back a recording of his transmission made by another ham, I think. But what I want to do is I want to take a look at and listen to the transmitted uh, quality of the audio and the signal that this produces in single sideband mode and AM and FM modes. You're probably never going to use AM and FM with this little radio, at least for transmission, uh, but they're there, so uh, let's, uh, let's see what they uh, sound like, and we'll look at, uh, look at them in the waterfall and we'll see what their signal looks like. So let's go to the bench and find out. All right, I am all set up to test the audio quality. I've got the little radio here. It is connected via coax to my dummy load. Over on the computer, I have GQRX running with my AirSpy and a small whip on it. Uh, just picking up the RF leakage from the dummy load. That should give us a good clean signal without overloading the receiver. And we'll be able to record the audio quality. I am presently on uh, 40 meters. And like I said, I'm in a dummy load, not going to interfere with anybody. And we are in lower sideband, so we're going to be looking at the sideband performance of the radio. And over here on GQRX, I'm going to record the audio during the transmission so that we can listen to the playback, and you'll be able to hear the direct audio from the uh, transmitter. Um, and we'll be able to look at the signal in the waterfall and see the quality of it. So let's get started with the 40 meter test. I'll start recording, and here we go. This is KB9RLW testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. Well, uh, there you go. My mouth is about six inches away from the microphone and I'm using a regular speaking voice. All right, I'm gonna stop GQRX and we can go look at the signal and it looks pretty bad. Um, this, let's see, here's our 150 is our point, so if we go down, uh, say, 3 kilohertz, so that would be, well, there's 2. 2.3 would be about there. But we'll go down to 3 kilohertz, which would be, yeah, that's probably about the outside edge of a normal single sideband signal. And as you can see, we've got garbage. It's clipping or something. Um, that does not look good. It's actually casting energy out to uh, 1... 7143 so that's 7 kilohertz into the lower sideband and if we look at the upper sideband uh, it's throwing some garbage out into the upper sideband which should be suppressed so not a great signal for single sideband here's the audio recording this is 
KB9 RLW testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh boy. Well, uh, there you go. My mouth is about six inches away from the microphone and I'm using a regular speaking voice. So there you go. Um, I've made several contacts on sidebands, so it, you know, it, it's clear enough that people can understand you with the built-in mic. But I'm not that impressed with the quality of the uh, modulated signal. Um, I was looking at the, SME, or at the meter up here. We were not overdriving the receiver. Uh, that is not the issue. This is just the output signal quality, and it's not that great. Okay, next mode. Let me get this into a mode that we want to use, which would be, uh, let's see, next I guess would be AM, right? There we go, AM mode. All right, I will put GQRX into AM, start it running, and here we go with AM mode. Oh, wait, record. Okay, here we go. This is KB9RLW testing AM. Ooh, that modulation is very low. Let me get down on the mic. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hello, hello. Well, I have to speak in a large, uh, louder voice to get any uh, modulation, but uh, that is the AM signal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop recording. Okay, AM, when I got right on the mic, um, the sidebands are coming out. Let's see, so 151, yeah, not much more than one kilohertz on either side. So uh, that's not great modulation. And um, I was right down probably a, three inches from the mic and speaking in a loud voice. Here is the recorded audio. This is KB9RLW testing AM. Ooh, that modulation is very low. Let me get down on the mic. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hello, hello. Uh, I have to speak in a large, uh, louder voice to get any uh, modulation. But uh, that is the AM signal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is the audio quality on AM. Let's go to the next mode, FM. All right, let me switch GQRX over to Narrow FM. Start it running. Start recording, and here we go. This is KB9RLW testing FM modulation. One, two, three, four. I'm about six inches from the mic and speaking in a slightly louder than conversational voice. Hello, hello, hello. That time, this time I'm practically shouting. Uh, one, two, three, four. Stop the recording, stop the playback, and quiet that thing down. Okay, FM deviation, when I started shouting into it, let's see, 152, so that's two, that's four, almost five kilohertz deviation, but I had to get down on the mic and really shout on it again, and here is the recorded audio. This is KB9RLW testing FM modulation. One, two, three, four. I'm about six inches from the mic and speaking in a slightly louder than conversational voice. Hello, hello, hello. That time, this time I'm practically shouting. Uh, one, two, three, four. So there you go. Audio quality on FM mode. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that's it. That's what I wanted to find out. Now we know uh, what the radio sounds like on its transmitted signals for single sideband, AM, and FM. Well, there you go. So, yeah, it's got AM and FM, but the modulation's pretty low. I really kind of had to shout in the mic. Um, I don't know if that's something that's a problem that can be fixed in software or if it's hardware or what, but honestly, those are two modes that you'll probably never use on the radio. Um, single sideband, though, works all right. Uh, I've made several single sideband contacts using just the internal mic, and uh, that's a real neat feature on this little radio. So uh, a lot of people are probably going to wonder about uh, using an external mic, maybe an amplified mic and all that. Well, I'm sure that there would be ways to improve things there. I don't have um, a mic handy that I can adapt. I'm thinking about maybe doing a project uh, in the near future with the radio, making a microphone adapter for some 
cheap, uh, commonly available uh, mic. I think Manuel, um, actually over on his channel, did a video not too long ago where he adapted a speaker mic. And it was an amplified speaker mic that actually had an amplifier built into the mics. And, and I, I think he has all that information there on where you can get that mic. So that's one possibility. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that's that. Hope you found that uh, interesting. And uh, the next video is not going to be about this little radio. It's going to be about something different. Uh, I don't know if the next one or the one after, but one of these coming up is going to be about a very interesting antenna. So uh, you'll have to wait for that. But uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.